Hi guys, if you saw the previous episode you'll know that I bought this radio controlled car in a charity shop. It's one of those new bright cars. It's very big but in essence what's inside of it is just the normal cheap radio control gear. It's a 40 megahertz. Uh, it's got steering and it's got a straight through back axle so there's no differential on it so it won't be ideal for a real racing car but we ought to be able to upgrade it to hobby grade receiver uh, put an ESC on it so we've got control over the motor so it's not just on or off it actually accelerates and decelerates and we can probably put a proper servo on the front to control the steering. So what I'm going to do is just take it out so we can have a look under the bonnet or under the lid. Looks like it's just four screws. They're long screws. I think a lot of these new bright cars have common chassis and they just swap pieces around on them bits bolt on. Right. Apart from the aerial still being connected up there, well, we should be able to pull that out. Yeah, there we go. So here we are, that's all that there is. That's the battery compartment and the receiver in that box there. That's the steering which if I move the wheels you see that's just turning there so with a bit of luck we should be able to just mount a servo there something like this one that I've bought Tower Pro MG995 whatever that is but I bought this one because it's got metal gears in it, so it should be stronger than the little cheap ones I normally buy. So with a bit of luck, we might be able to get that to fit in just about exactly the same place. And that will give us full proportional steering then. And then at the back end, so I don't intend to change the motor at all. I should leave that as it is. But we should be able to just plug the other end of it in to uh, a normal ESC. I'm not sure if I've got a powerful enough ESC for that motor though. I've got one that will run it but it doesn't have reverse and obviously we really want forwards and backwards on this right, 
And there's our receiver. Oh, well, that'd be soldered directly onto the battery tags there, so we can't easily lift it out. It looks like the motor just plugs in. Can't quite get my fingers to it. So I can either reuse that connector or just cut it off and wire it straight into my proper ESC. So that looks easy. We've got loads of room there for a LiPo battery and a receiver. Well, we've got space there for it if we take that out. In fact, as I remember it, if I unscrew that, the whole battery compartment and receiver come out all in one go. So, that'll do for now. That's a, a first look. We'll get on and do something a little bit more involved later.